Hello, this is Daniel Kim here. Today we would like to show you how the car plating work on the RS nav. So, like the previous version, this one requires the dongle. So, I installed the push mount USB. For us to, you don't need the plug USB <laughs> stabilizer or whatsoever. You just plug the dongle, use it wirelessly using the Bluetooth or for myself if you are concerned with <laughs> sound quality and everything, just use it wired like me. <coughs> Jesus Christ, this influenza is pretty bad. It's not the corona. If it were Corona, my ill father and mother and this small Canadian town would be wiped out. Anyway, so business as usual. You're on the <laughs> auto kit or auto play, whatever, and you do the update. Business as usual, and then. We will just connect the um, carpet lighting. Now, I just reset the key learning to show you guys something. So, I'm just connecting carpet And <coughs> there you go, carpet But sooner or later, <laughs> you will learn that the steering buttons does nothing. Oh, how frustrating. Daniel, you <laughs> You sold a device that is not working. No, 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 not so fast, not so fast. So, uh, with the S2 unit, whenever you're using the CarPlay dongle thing, you need to learn the key. So we go to settings, advanced settings, and we go to the key learning and here's what we did for this one if you press and hold the color is gone like this is how you erase so we'll assign the key so i want to assign right so i click right and it says press the key and i roll down uh the roller by one step Ooh. And then it says, uh, you uh, try the same key again, and one step further down. Now my right is assigned. I assigned the left. So for the left, I swivel up one step, and then it says, do it again. So left is assigned. And then I want to assign my mode button to be the back button. So I want press one and press once again so back button is aside now the we need to assign the select button but this is tricky for the select button you um, press the select and you need to uh, hold and uh, swivel up your finger and you need to hold it you need to hold it while you're pressing the the the, the, the 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 steering button push it in and while you're holding your finger you do press it again and oh it went back to the previous position and if you go to the um key learning still you can see the select is not assigned so we'll try it again select and I sweep up my finger and while holding I press select and then I press the select button once again and now I failed again we'll try it in different ways so I want to assign the select button this is this really um, uh, <coughs> painful and yes oh uh, so now you can see the select button is assigned. How I did it? Um, 
I put the select first and it asks me to press the key so I just press key once and when it says uh, press the same key again then I press and hold and sweep up my finger and then press the uh, the button again and then now select is assigned otherwise um, somehow things are mixed so um, the key never get assigned so basically the keys that you want to assign is left select right back these are the thing and if you want to assign the city button then you press city and this and you press city once again and you this and hmm i'm not sure if cd button is going to work but that's not important so anyway so we run the carplay up app again go to return and we begin the apple carplay and sooner or later carplay will work and let's see the moment of the truth yay now i have the steering control um so everything works totally fine with the steering buttons and if you want to call Siri I just go to the home button uh, and I press and hold huh well that's something else that we need to figure out but at least uh, you cannot browse so one by one we'll fix it at least we figured out how to work with the the steering keys and let me press this this one brings to the audio oh, original well things never work as you hope but we'll find a way let's see if I press double or many time huh, it does nothing anyway at least the no 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 I don't want to call okay okay anyway yeah things are kind of working so this is pretty much it okay uh, well as you probably know China is totally messed up so it's likely that the shipping of the S2 device will be delayed until the end of the February so but that's nothing we can do something it's the um, the pandemic um, disease so we're just tiny little human so we need to live with it we'll see and I hope every Chinese friend who are working for our snob and working with our snob to be safe thank you for listening